For TV10 Action News, I'm Patrick Van Horn. Patrick Van Horn had a 22-year career in television and media, host of the primetime series Eyewitness Video, network news anchor, and even a role in the Deadpool. Put out a contract on your life in retaliation for your testimony. Heck, he even met his wife Wendy through TV. Hi, Mom. But after standing for hours doing live reports from Sonny Bono's funeral, he did a thing. So that when I finally told Roger Ailes, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. And he said, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm, I'm going to lead bicycle tours. And he said, how much money can you make doing that? And I said, $75 a day plus expenses. <laughs> Everybody thought I was nuts. You know, you had the, the, the primetime show, you had yeah. uh, the afternoon talk shows and stuff, and, and they had no problem leaving you, right? <laughs> That's a very good point. That's a very, very good point. Uh, yeah, so they had he, no problem leaving me. Right. So you you had an event. You know, you had you you thoughtfully thought about this, and you said, "I'm going to leave you now." Yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, it's as I look back at it now, uh, and this was 22, 23 years ago, twenty four years ago almost. I realized it was. It was not insubstantial, you know. It was a it was a big hit to our income. Um, I essentially was in my early forties at that point. In theory, in the business, I would have been at my most marketable. Uh, I could have. I, I think I could, probably could have gone farther, uh, but I just wanted to do something different, and so I contacted the person who owned Bike Vermont, where we had gone on a tour four years before, and I said, "I'd like to be." A leader i just called him out of the blue and he said i'll send you a i'll send you an application send me a resume then we did a phone interview and he said okay let's see if we let's we'll start this year so i went to vermont started leading bike tours i did that for four years uh four seasons uh one of those seasons i was in ireland i led bike tours for the company in ireland meantime i got a job at a bike shop uh here in ventura and about that time 2001 that i got the the job uh, at the bike shop here in Ventura, California, Giant Bicycles, which is the, uh, Giant USA, uh, it's the largest, it's the USA division of the largest bike builder in the world, moved their USA corporate headquarters to Newbury Park, California, which is only 20 miles away. Wow. So I instantly started thinking, can I get on with this company? Because this is a big company. And if I did, what would I do? Um, and I thought, well, I could probably work in marketing for them because I, I know how to write. I know how to talk. Um, I know how to create a story. And uh, so after two or three years of trying uh, in 2004, they hired me initially to work in quality control. I was on the phone taking warranty phone calls, and I did that for two and a half years. But I knew if I could get my foot in the door, eventually I, I would get in the marketing department. And sure enough, I did. In 2006, started working in marketing as the corporate communications manager and, uh, and then eventually a digital media producer for them. And it was a great, great 16 years. Um, really had really enjoyed the company. It was a great product. You know, we weren't making thermonuclear triggers or anything like that. We were making bicycles, you know? <laughs> what could be better? Giant doesn't do this just to win races and make lighter, faster bikes. They also do it to make riding a bike more accessible and enjoyable for everyone. Giant does this for you. Giant is the only bike brand, the one and only bike brand, with thousands of bicycle retailers around the world who are passionate about one thing, making sure that you have fun on two wheels. And I spent 22 years in the broadcast industry, and then I've spent 22 years uh, in the bicycle industry in one form or another, either working at a bike shop or leading bike tours or working for Giant. And by far, uh, the joy in my life, the joy in my work life uh, has been working uh, for Giant. It just has been uh, really terrific. Champions aren't made on roads lined with cheering fans. Champions are made in solitude. They're made in the off-season, as a team, in the cold, and when you finish second.
Champions are not born. Champions are made. Um, I spent 16 years with Giant and just recently retired. Um, so I am, you know, technically a, a man of leisure, but I'm really not. Um, a global pandemic, a cratering economy. Sure. Good time to retire, don't you think? Um, but oh. I, still, I still work for Giant on a contract basis. I still do podcasts. Can I plug my podcasts? While oh, we're you absolutely here? may. All right. I do uh, podcasts for Giant. And if you... Um, if you're, if your viewers, listeners want to listen, uh, it's the ride giant podcast, one word ride giant, mm -hmm. and also the, how we live podcast, um, live is the, uh, women's brand that is part of the giant group, the giant group, again, the world's largest builder of bikes and frames, and it encompasses, uh, four different brands, giant live momentum and Kadex. And, uh, I've been fortunate enough to. Again, probably because nobody else wanted to do it in the building and nobody knew how, um, I, right. I became the podcast host. So yeah. looking back now, if, if, if you were going to give us uh, uh, some people who are uh, listening, watching this, you to give them some advice about that, that career pivot, what, what would be your, uh, your thoughts for them? Uh, gosh. I hope that well, I may not be the best person <laughs> to give this, <laughs> this advice to uh, because uh, you and I have both had failures along the way, um, but you need to trust yourself. Uh, you can overanalyze, should I do this? Should I not do this? And you'll have paralysis by analysis. And I think what I did was I, I trusted myself. The majority of my decisions in my previous career in television weren't, they weren't bad. They had, they had been very successful, even though I was two or two and a half or three years from place to place, which was typical. I got to own my skills. I got to hone those skills with people like you working with, with you and Altoona, uh, working at all the places that I did. Um, so that when I needed to make a change and I decided to do it, uh, I trusted that the decision would be the right one. And, and it was, you know, the years where I, the two or three years where I was only earning $75 a day leading bike tours or, or working in a bike shop for 10 or $12 an hour, I began to wonder, should I have given up that anchoring job on Fox news? But, um, I knew it, I knew it would, it would be good. I knew something good would come of it. And, uh, and it did. I have heard, uh, your other podcasts and, um, uh, there is that amongst people who've been in television, there is that moment where you have to make that decision. And, and this is true anytime in any career that you have, where you're making a decision with, where something you have done that you're pretty good at and uh, you have an established career path, but it's just not doing it for you here, you know, and, or you don't yeah. feel good about the product you're putting out there. And, that happens in any business. And I think the people, the people that I had the good fortune to work with, like you, 42 years ago, uh, and, and the, the people that I worked with at NBC and CBS and uh, small markets before, being able to work with those people and, and get experience from those folks, it's just, uh, it, it really made the transition easier. It allowed me to trust me and uh and move forward yeah well patrick this has been a, a great conversation and uh it's uh it's been it's been way too long and uh uh i i do want to thank you for uh the role you pay, played for me early in my career uh it was very valuable and uh, i've always appreciated it and had very fond memories of uh, you and i working together so Thank you very much. I hope someday uh, after after the pandemic is all over, come hell or high water to for us to see each other in person. That would be fabulous. We, it's been, we figured almost 40 years since we've seen each other. So, uh, yeah. so to, yeah. to see you here now is great. And, you know, you talk like I gave you the big opportunity. There was maybe, what, three years difference in our age? You were right out of college and I was maybe three years out of college. So. Mm -hmm. 
we were children. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening or watching this episode of So I Did a Thing. Special thanks to Bennett Vaughn, my former colleague from WTAJ, for saving the photos and video of Patrick and myself from TV10, once Keystone Country's largest news team. So I Did a Thing is produced by Blue Glasses Media, LLC.